It's an exciting night to be outside. South Carolina could see the northern lights tonight. Fox Carolina's Ryan Bachman is more on when to spot them and how to take a photo of them. We may have a rare opportunity to spot the northern lights right here in the Carolinas tonight, and it's all thanks to a recent string of solar eruptions that have been aimed in the direction of Earth. Those charged particles interacting with Earth's magnetic field may cause the auroras to fan out across a larger swath of the planet tonight, and this is the latest forecast. Anywhere in this green swath that covers most of the continental United States, including us here in the Carolinas, means that the northern lights might not just be visible, but more or less overhead and could be fairly bright. Can't promise you it'll be the same thing as what we saw back in May. It ultimately depends on exactly when this wave of particles comes on in and how it interacts, but it's at least a possibility that something similar could happen tonight. And for folks even along the Gulf Coast, northern Florida could even be in line to see the northern lights low on the horizon with good weather conditions. Now here at home, the weather is absolutely going to cooperate for tonight. It will just be a bit on the cooler side if you want to step out. Between 9 p.m. and midnight, temps falling from the low 60s to some cool mid 50s, but the skies will be crystal clear, so no clouds to block our view. Now, as far as best viewing practices overall, first thing you want to do, try to get away from city lights because darkest skies, as are many cases for stargazing in general at night, dark skies are going to give you your best bet to see anything if the northern lights do materialize. They're likely to be most active between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. And if you want to get some pictures, a couple things to keep in mind here. First and foremost, make sure that your camera, whether it's your phone or if you have something more sophisticated, make sure that it is set to night mode. You want to take a minimum of a three second exposure just to allow the camera to collect as much light from that dark environment as possible, including the sky. And you want to keep that camera still while it's taking the photo because, of course, obviously moving it in general could just make the image blurry. But in the case of the northern lights, it could really kind of muddy up what is already a fairly faint uh, picture as it is. But follow all those tips and as long as the northern lights cooperate, should have some good pictures by tomorrow morning. And if you do, make sure you share them with us right here at Fox Carolina and we'll put some on the air. I'm First Alert meteorologist Brian Bachman.